<laughs> what if they do Schindler's List in 4DX and they just bring in all the smoke? <laughs> all right, chill, 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 chill. chill. Welcome back to Sleepover. My name is Daniel Cabral. My name is Vince Caldera. I'm Luis Lamus. And folks, uh, believe it or not, but we're back and we're already dying, man. This is one. Of, it was probably the hottest day in LA. How hot is it right now? Is yeah, it? let's check. Really is it in the hundreds? I'm, I, my legs are sweating. It, I'm wearing shorts. It's in the hundreds, bro. What the fuck kind of... Qu- it's like 105 right I'm now. I'm sweating a lot right now. 100. This, it's that's LA. New York is 75. Oh, shit. Where? Yeah, it's yeah, 110 yeah. in here? It's no, it's a hundred. Well, oh my! Oh, it's, it's hundred and six. And we haven't uh, added the factor that it's warmer in here. Yeah, it's yeah, it's hotter in, here. in the garage. It's so funny because we were gonna court at one, and we're like, let's wait till three p.m. and it might cool down. And it's, it's like, no, hotter. it's hotter now. But, but what if what if this is the angle that we take? What if we're the podcast that uh, just does it? That's get, that gets recorded in extreme weather. Uh huh. We're know? the David Goggins of podcast. Yeah. yeah. We is, that, is that his through. whole thing? I don't know who. Yeah, David. he he pushes through. Uh huh. And it's just like there's one video I like of his because um, the caption is like you, when your dick gets soft and it's like him going like get fucking hard. He's just like going like really intense. Oh my god. I cannot wait. So after you record, I'm just gonna post a photo of David Goggins. And be like, you know this motherfucker running right now. <laughs> I think, like, that's interesting because, like, your dick not getting... That's, like, your brain, you know? Yeah. Like, your, your sex it organ. It is more mental than anything else. But it's crazy. His brain's fighting itself because yeah. he's like, I need you up. And the brain's like, stay down. Mm-hmm. That's an order. That's sometimes... <laughs> I, I, you got to lock in, dude. Yeah. And get that thing up. You mm-hmm. ever been down that? Many times. Are you guys bus quickers or are you guys can't get a ruppers in your, your worst phase? Um... Mm. You're learning a lot this is about us right now. I think like after I, I know like I, I'm trying to like stay hard again, uh, but then like I need to you know, like tap into like my my um my inner self to be like what, I need you. Yeah, need, my guy is like around. don't even touch him. What if you tag me in? <laughs> Do you ever feel like you wish you could, like let's say you bust never, quick and you're like I wish I could once. just tag in I my what, boy? I know what you're going down now. Never never like, I, w- I would really. I've never had been I've having been sex like, and I thought of you. You've never once crossed my mind. You're like at the bottom of the list. Really? Yeah, you're like. Yeah, the person that I would least think of is you during during that, sex. You know what? This is actually a true story. Same with the girl you're having sex with, Daniel. No, no, she's <laughs> thinking of Vince too. Every girl is always thinking of Vince called Derek. Oh my god, that breaks my heart. But it also, I'm a fan. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, we're both thinking of the same thing. It's like, oh man. Uh, I remember I was with this girl, and I won't go into the graphic details, but you know, it was graphic. Getting, you know. Okay. Okay. Well, already contextually, like I know that you're having sex because you're like, I was with this girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go on. And we're, I was tooting and booting. And, uh, and Vince called me up. We were like maybe 19. And he's oh, like, yeah, yeah. I have this great opportunity. Al Madrigal wants us to put together this project and blah, blah, blah. And I took the phone call like with this girl. I remember this. Yeah. yeah. Were you inside her? Yeah. Something was. Parts, parts, parts. of him. And I, but it was an important phone call. Mm-hmm. And then Dude, I, it was I, crazy. He was going down. Or he's like, I couldn't even hear what the fuck he was saying. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like, yeah. There was such an echo <laughs> from this girl. <laughs> you know me. He's speaking in tongues. I stay with the girls that look like the Grand Canyon down there. Oh my God! Hello, hello. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ! <laughs> you go down this, there. This heat is. There's like a rescue. Look, if this episode gets wild, it's because of the look, heat. Look, look we're we're actually look going through a heat so stroke. Like fucking Kirkland, man. My hand is like dripping right now on my stomach. That's how. That's that heat. That's and honestly, if any of my homies call me when I'm smashing, like I'm not picking up. Really? Yeah. Never. Yeah. Well, Vince never calls me, so I know it's an important <laughs> thing. And Vince that, will that's, like. That's true. Yeah. That is true. I'll call, okay. I'll call Vince. There. I will call Vince, and then it will go directly to voicemail, and it'll just say, "What happened?" That's not true. I, yeah, I will that's, answer yeah. most calls at yeah. this point because I try not to call you unless it's urgent. <laughs> and I think I think that's good though to not answer All every right, call. Uh, this is my impression of uh, Vince taking a call. So you pretend you're calling me. Ring, ring, ring. What? Oh, that's good too. Yeah, but I do. I do that. Sometimes, well, sometimes when people call me, I'm like, bro, there's some people who call. Ari calls me just to rap, so I know I never know. I know to never answer. To rap, he's like, yo, check out these fucking bars <laughs> right here. <laughs> Modest Yahoo, <laughs> Modest Yahoo has you. <laughs> or is it Matsu Yahoo? I don't know. What is that? You don't know who I'm talking about? No. The the Jewish rapper that was popular. He had one big song in the 2000s. Oh yeah, the one that's like. Um, you're all that I have, and you're all that I, you know, that's, the, the juice guy. Yeah, yeah, King without a crown. That's a fucking banger. Yeah, King without a crown. That, a crown. that song is so good. It's like re- it's like reggae Jewish. <laughs> if you rap. if you huh. watch the live version of it, you'll be very impressed. The live version is even better. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I'm not even like I'm not even one of those okay. people, but he, it's, it's good. He performed in the leading <laughs> Leaning Tower of Gaza. His towers are definitely meaningful. Wait, up. so you you had your fingers inside this girl? Vince hey, calls ooh. you. Yes. Yeah. And I pick up because I'm a good friend. 
And you know the type of guy that like uh, you can call at two AM and will pick up. That's Daniel the Goat. Okay. Some people put their phone on Do Not Disturb. I also do that, but I'll pick up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll pick up. I hate. I hate that the Do Not Disturb lets other people know. It's like yeah. That's don't, don't tell yeah. people. No, don't tell people that I don't want to be disturbed because then it'll be like still alert anyway. And it's like, well, what's the fucking point? Yeah. What? I do this thing where if I want to charge my phone fast, I put it on airplane mode mm -hmm. and I forget about it. And then people think I block them because the text turn oh. green when you try to message. Really? Yeah. I think it just doesn't go through usually. Oh. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, I put my phone in airplane mode when I'm at weddings and then I just get them all after. Dude, speaking of weddings. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Vince I mean, Vince missed out on the biggest wedding of the year. I did. Maybe the century. Of the century. Decade for sure. Decade for sure. Just yeah. to be in Texas with Jaime. Uh, that's funny because that's not true. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you booked a show in Texas just to go to Hooters, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, so a while ago, I was hit up to go to Texas for this thing, and my stuff was paid for in advance. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I found out about Chris's thing <laughs> like, the week that it was your happening. Hooters tab. We even paid for your Hooters tab. Uh -huh. <laughs> the week that it was happening, like a few days before I was going to take off, yeah. and I, I didn't want to make them lose a lot of money yeah, yeah. to take okay. me out there. Mm -hmm. um, so I was in a pickle. Um, but yeah, you should have, we so. should have invited them to the wedding. Actually, that would have been a good idea. Yeah, I mean, if we had plus one, so would have probably. Done that. We had the plus wedding. Ones. We did. You guys did have plus one. Wow. Well, I, I didn't know that part either. Yeah, yeah. That's why Lewis brought his his, his lovely date. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you could have brought a lovely date, Jaime. Yeah. But you were in Texas, and I DJed uh, the wedding. And let me tell you, folks, I got there on time, dressed up, ready to go, with the biggest stomach ache of my life. Wow. I was just like, oh, my God, dude. It was, I was like, I was like, hey, this you is wanna... your flu game. This was my flu game for the first two hours. I was like, dude, I really I have a really bad stomach ache. And I plug in my DJ board. <laughs> What's so goddamn funny is I showed up a little bit late mm -hmm. and then we pull up and I'm like, oh, we don't know where the venue is. And then we walk into the back and Daniel was in line to get Mexican food. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like, oh, his stomach is hurting. But he's still like, I'm going to fuck up these tacos. I still <laughs> had to. I was like, maybe it's like if you can put if you put fire and fire together, maybe it'll stop the fire. Yeah, you're saying like two negatives make a positive? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, so it just disrupts my stomach. But uh, something that happened is I got to the wedding and I turned on my DJ board and it just did not turn on. And I was like, fuck. That was so scary. The mariachis were already kicking your ass, too. They were, dude. I had their music on, and it was a little too loud. The mariachis were doing their thing. It's hard to go after a lot. It was lot. like Scott Pilgrim for you? <laughs> you're yeah. like, you're just having a music battle against the mariachi? Yeah, I cooked their ass, bro. Ray would, would just wait till I played some some Drake, you know? You did play Drake for 20 seconds. I did play. I told everybody. What song was it? No, I, I played. I did this version of uh, Nice For What, where I played a little bit of the hook, where he's just like, nice for what, to these gentlemen. Uh -huh. And then it goes into the part where Drake said... Sc high school girl, you was even bad then? High school picks, you was even bad then. And I looped that part. And then I went to the part that said, Hey, Drake, I hear you like I'm young. And, <laughs> That's uh, funny. I don't know if anybody really noticed it, but oh, I... Oh, I noticed. Yeah. Some people know. Con people out, like, Connor, not Con dancing. Connor noticed, and he said his girlfriend noticed too, or his wife. So his I was wife, like, yeah. Some people yeah, yeah. noticed, you know, but I had a show out. And I love Drake, and playing that song is uh, gross, but uh, I had to do it. Uh -huh. I genuinely forget you're a good DJ. Yeah, thank you for that. No, just because people, uh, I feel uh, like they joke around about it. They're like, oh, Daniel's a DJ. But no, Daniel's a good-ass DJ. Like, hey. you got the Yelp page. It is crazy. Um, yeah. And then everybody was just like, you, you did so well. You're so amazing. I got a big, I got, was getting, that, that, that DJ job is probably going to get me more stand-up gigs. Because they're like, this guy fucking rips. Dude, I, those worlds are kind of colliding yeah, now. Yeah, they are. It's are like you, a Venn diagram. You've never tried doing a DJ set? Uh, while well, stand, well, yeah. that seems like that would be fun. Honestly, I think that'd be like a cool thing to explore. All right, least. now picture this, right? I, I've been mulling around this idea. Let's say you have four hours for a show. First hour is just people trickling in, thirty minutes. Sure. Then in the next hour, you have a comedy show, hour and a half. Last ninety minutes is just a straight up DJ set. Okay. What if that worked? What if people just came to a, like you just give people a don't tell like like experience, but it's yeah. a fucking rager. They but have a, a rager. they have a comedy show for like ninety minutes or an hour, and then you just go back to the rager. It feels like. You know, at house shows where the show happens and then there's just a kickback afterwards. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's pretty chill. You'd have a DJ, yeah. A DJ. I feel like you need more of a house show vibe for that. Then. Maybe, yeah. Look, we're talking, dude. We're, we're grooving. We got ideas, folks. Things are rolling. But this wedding was crazy. Can we talk about how Rachel assaulted you? I guess so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Rachel Friedland assaulted Lewis. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, she and was, everybody saw. Rachel was taller than me at the wedding, so like going she after the heels she's, on. She, Isn't she taller than you in general? No, that's how how dare you. But uh, she <laughs> is. <laughs> Rachel's Rachel's five eleven, and I'm a gorgeous six feet. Um, <laughs> spectacular. People always say me and say see me, and they're like, "Wow, he's so six feet." 
It's pretty wild that Chris saw the clip from Sleepover and got so pressured that he's like, I have to marry Katie. <laughs> he has to beat the allegations. Oh, with the gay one? The That's gay what, one. yeah. <laughs> Put a fire under his, uh, his feet. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I got to repost that clip again. Should we have Chris Estrada on the podcast? Should we have Chris Estrada on the podcast again? You guys, what do know. you think? Yeah. Text this number right here. <laughs> yeah. By I've, the end of the day. Did you have anything fun happen in uh, Texas, Vince? Anything fun happening in Texas? Um, can you tell? Can you tell the Hymas story? I don't want to tell the Hymas story, but I feel like all right. I'll, I'll tell the Hymas story. I forgot right. what the Hymas right, story you, was. You, no, it's, this, you don't know it yet. This motherfucker's uh-huh. not going to listen, and it was a Hymas. It was a dick thing to do. Vince, oh, is wait, a, Vin, Vince is out there selling merch. You know, I'm trying it. to make some money out there too to, to like justify me being out yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, look, sometimes on the road, dude. Uh, for the first ten years of stand up, you make no money. Uh, yeah, you make negative money actually, and then maybe eventually, 11, year eleven and twelve, you'll start making maybe twenty bucks a show. And um, Vince goes all the way out to Texas. <laughs> year eleven or twelve. Shit. Yeah, it's a, it's a twelve years of slave, yeah. baby. Twelve years. <laughs> <laughs> it's dude, surreal, imagine yeah. watching Twelve Years a Slave in four DX. <laughs> You think, I like this joke. You think they, you think they did like they because they put every no the techno- we didn't have the technology back then. A re-release <laughs> of Twelve Years a Slave. What if they do Schindler's List in 4DX and they just bring in all the smoke? <laughs> all right, chill, 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 chill. It's chill, hot. Chill, it's hot. Chill. So Vince is out in Texas. Vince is, Vince is in Texas, right? And he's selling merch. And this uh, girl, he's working. Yeah, this is yeah this this. I'm working. He's yeah, working. Work. He's yeah. working. And there's just like Batty that walks up to Vince event, apparently, and she's like talking to him, you know, cause, BBL, yeah, cause all of it, right? There's always like oh, like beautiful women. The, this story is based on true events. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just cleaning it up. A Wait, little was bit. she bad? <laughs> oh come on, bro! It's a woman that said that she wanted. Like, go on, keep so going. So this girl, she's cute. She, you know, like the girls that go to these shows, they always want to take a photo with Vince, and they like want to like talk to him a little bit. And I'm always there to like protect him. And <laughs> <laughs> Vince is this kind of shake. Hey, yeah, yeah. how you doing? Vince is the type of guy that walks behind a girl and then grabs her waist. That's like the funniest thing. But they like him though. They like it. And it's it's every as long as everybody's having a good time, then it's okay. I feel you know. I mean, I don't feel, but Vince does. Vince definitely is feeling on something. <laughs> He's grabbing on. <laughs> keep going, keep going. So then Vince is selling some merch, and you know, he's like, you got to be a little flirtatious to sell your merch, and that's just part of the game. So it's the Trader Joe's approach. Yeah, it's the Trader Joe's approach. Like, how, what's your name? What's your, what are you wearing? What, what, what color is your underwear? And stuff. Vince is a dirty dog. <laughs> um, and then Vince is about to sell, what is it, a bag or a shirt? It's a t-shirt, yeah. Vince is selling a shirt, and the girl is like, uh, for how much? How much? $30, yeah. Mm-hmm. And Vince is like, $30. And right before Vince is about to secure the bag and get that cash, Jaime pops out. Jaime, who we had a few episodes ago, Prince of the Bottle Girls, he pops out of nowhere, and he's like, you shouldn't buy Vince's shirt. You should buy the Ralph shirt. And the girl's like, oh, yeah, you're right. And then she fucking... Here's actually the part is she's with her, her guy. Uh-huh. And you did uh, this all. You did all this in front of her guy. So so Jaime tells says says to the girl, no, don't don't buy Vince's shirt. Buy Ralph's shirt. Mm-hmm. And the guy's like, yeah, babe, you should buy Ralph's shirt instead. Ah, uh, well, you know why he said that, right? Why? Because he found you threatening. Probably. Probably. Yeah, 100%. yeah. I think I I, that's probably that. Yeah. Most if my girl was wearing a Caldera shirt, dude. Mm-hmm. It's over. Yeah, I mean, nah, nah, it's crazy, but there is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, it was one of those things where it's like I'm I'm out here trying to make money uh-huh. and like. It's it's I I like I don't know. Just let someone buy the shirt that they want to buy. Yeah. If someone buys another person's thing, that's fine with me. That's okay. But don't like, don't like. Uh, Poach. Yeah. Don't it. goaltend. Yeah. Don't goaltend. They're scaring the hose and then they're scaring. How the did bag. you? Re- what did you tell Jaime? I didn't tell him anything. He doesn't even know that I that I felt this way about it. Yeah. Well, now well, you fans will know. <laughs> you guys will know. Jaime yeah. will never hear yeah. this. Jaime is a fucking asshole sometimes, bro. He's just and what's fucked up is you're gonna let him stay at your house too. Yeah, he was, did that to you. That's crazy. He's yeah, gonna be walking to the speed of speed of traffic today, dude. Speed of traffic. I, I'm as a villain, bro. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say anything to him, but I was like, I just clocked it, and I was like, that's crazy. Yeah, that he's adding that. that to the fucking list. He's like, mm mm mm. They're on the list. That is some fucked up shit, though, dude. I'm gonna <laughs> let somebody secure the bag because you know what Ralph is doing. He's doing his I'm, thing. I brought, I bought that fool a burrito like earlier before that show too. Hi, yeah. Did you I bought him food? Did you buy him food at Cacao? No, no, this oh, is okay. at, at Torchy's in, uh, across from the Arlington Improv. This food, Jaime, w- says everything in L.A. is bad food-wise. And I was like, brother, you are from Texas. That shit that you got, got over I there. I remember Ralph called him out on that. He's like, yeah. bro, we have terrible Mexican food. What yeah, are you talking about? dude. And he was like, Vince took me to this place and it was bad. And everyone's like, that place is actually not bad. And, he's, and Jaime says food is bad and he has like fucking five servings of it. Yeah, he's like, can I get more of this? And then, uh, <laughs> does he want to eat, Mc- eat Taco Bell <sighs> instead of cacao? That's that Texas in him, bro. I was That's like, oh man, dude, I don't, I don't know what. He's got too many. 
too many hormones in your meat out there. They're a different breed out there. They're a different breed out there in Texas, man. They say cuh. They're used to this heat all the time. They accept our heat is this is still better than Texas heat, I swear to God. Because this is dry and that's the humidity, like it fucking just sucks. Like yeah. it, your balls are sweat. I told you I had three cousins that died of swamp ass in Texas. That have died of it? Of swamp ass? Yeah. Yeah. I wow. swear to God. The, the list keeps growing every episode. <laughs> every episode. <laughs> every episode I was like, yeah, I fucking full plane <laughs> crash of people. Died of swamp ass. What's the prognosis, doctor? <laughs> Grade three swamp ass? It's terminal. Yeah, they fucking lift up the sheet and they're like, oh my God. <laughs> That'd be horrifying. It's unrecognizable. It's unrecognizable. His fucking mom is crying and then she's like, no, no, no. I don't even want to fucking smell that motherfucker, dude. I hope I smell good when I die. Apparently, Apparently you shit yourself. That's the scariest thing. Then maybe I want the lower. sucks, actually. I want the lower half of my body cut off like fucking Darth Maul. Because I don't want it's them a clean cut. Yeah, I don't want them. I want them. I want. I want to die with a fifth grade chub. You know what I mean? A fifth grade. What you've heard mean? of the term fifth grade chub? I've never. When heard you're of not that. like fully hard, right? You got okay. like a little chub like in your pot because you can't get hard yet in fifth grade. I could. <sighs> yeah, me too. Who fucked you in fifth grade? <laughs> Who are you playing pipe? At, I was watching. I I told you guys I like when I first saw porn. You know. Yeah, but there's that yeah. part where, like you can't get hard. You just get like little like what am I feeling, dude? I, I was getting, swear I was getting I, full I on hard. hard. Yeah. 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 Damn, I remember because yeah. it scared me. I was like, oh, "This, I don't know what's gonna happen." It just, it kind of hurts because it's I, so hard. I really like my teacher, so it was like pretty or like it happened. <laughs> Mr. Moreno, <laughs> Mr. Moreno, that's so funny. Mr. Wormlinger, you're just like, I, "What is this power?" <laughs> you fear your own dick. Can I, can I learn this power? Not from a Jedi. Fuck, dude, you got to your, put on the helmet. Dude, your lightsaber was blowing red that day. Dude. <laughs> it did hurt. Yeah, and you know what? I, I it's, uh, it still hurts. It still hurts to this day. <laughs> And then you're like, what is all this cheese? <laughs> <laughs> they call him Louise Chee- Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I take care of that shit. Nah, you got to stay care no of cheese. that. No cheese. No cheese, uh, you know? No queso today on this. No, not today. <laughs> not today. On this hot summer day, dude, you're going to have a fucking quesadilla down there. You know? I hate that so much. That is gross. That's this, nasty. This might be the nastiest episode of Sleepover. I'm feeling the heat. Yeah, I'm feeling yeah, it. Yeah, it, it, it gets like, it's like um, when you put a frog in like boiling water, mm-hmm. you know? Or like you when you put a frog in water, then you turn up the heat. That's the way that it goes. Yeah. I am able to that's push. A, that's the saying. Like, it, oh, it will okay. never, it will never, um, it will never leave. Mm-hmm. It will kind of just set itself up to, to die. Okay. That's a, it's, a, it's actually like a really popular thing. Oh, I've heard of this. Yeah, thing, the, yeah. that's how you kill the frog, really. They just, it's like a, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. The frog just like gets addicted to chilling. You can keep turning it up and turning it up. might be a frog, bro. You might be, a, you might be chilling in the frog comfort zone, dude. You might, it's time to fucking uh, rip it out of there. Become a toad. Yeah. Who's the one that kisses a, a princess? Frog? Toad. Toad? Isn't it? I think it's a frog. It's a princess kissing a frog, right? That's what, yeah. Okay. I think a princess kisses a frog, and then sh- the f- guy becomes handsome, right? I, I think it also has to do with, like, love, right? Because, like, you, deep down you know who that person is, mm-hmm. and, like, it's all kind of like Beauty and the Beast as well. That'd be cool if everybody was ugly for a little bit. I yeah. think, like, yeah, I think everybody should be ugly. Yeah, and then we could see who I think we're all are. ugly when we take that one photo and you start, like, overanalyzing how you look, even mm-hmm. if it's just a normal photo. Oh, I know which one yeah. you're talking about. It's when you, you whip out your phone and the shit goes off like this. And oh. You're like, oh. Is that how I fucking look? And that and the target camera. Oh, target the, ca- the cameras at Target will humble you. They, they yeah. dude, fucking horrifying, dude. I'm like, I don't know why I still shop there if, if it's doing me dirty like yeah, that. Honestly, it just makes every- maybe that's why Target is so popular because everybody. Well, Vince likes going to Target just to flirt with uh, cashiers, you know. Yeah, the automated cashier. <laughs> I'm just really, I'm just talking to myself. You yeah, know? I'm just spitting game. I'm like, what are you doing here? That's some next yeah. level riz. That's some good ass clothes. You that's got how, that's how I practice. I'm uh-huh. like, hey, what's up? That's a sick ass backpack. This motherfucker's talking about his own backpack. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. But life has been good for the sleepover boys, folks. We got Vince finally back in the studio. Hey guys, what's up? Vince, next week we're. Oh, you took off your shoes, Vince. Yeah. I did. It's yeah, hot. I told you that I'm wearing fucking sandals. This is the first time you could see our knee- our knees. Honestly. Things are getting wild. Uh huh. Yeah. Take a, take a look at this uh, nice. feet Reddit. Yeah, feet Reddit. There you feet go. Finder, dude. Feet Finder. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. What, would you would you be upset if someone found like a photo of your foot and then like they, <laughs> they fetishize it, right? They're like, oh, that's I so want hot. money. Well, sure, you payment. But would you feel weird that like people might be like jacking off to like your feet? I assume people are already jacking off to me. You know, in my gay audience, I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, it's, yeah. I've seen my Our DMs. friend, uh, isn't it crazy? Someone's like thinking about nutting on you right now. Well, that's that's so crazy. When you put it that way, that is pretty wild. Right? That is wild. Uh, if, uh, if someone nutted on you, what part would you like be like okay with? 
No. Like you no, have to, I, no, you have to pick one part. I where don't want to like, clean. Where you're like, okay, do I clean it off? They can clean it off, but like you're gonna get like not like. Then what? I guess my feet, just because they just. Okay, yeah. There's not a lot of sensation. I, I actually yeah. don't like stepping on stuff that's sticky, yeah. so I have a problem with the, with the, it wouldn't wait, be the top of the foot or the bottom of the foot. It wouldn't be sticky. Nah, it'd be sticky. Well, everyone's cum is everyone's cum is different. I think. Yeah, I I think my knee. Yeah, my cum is coarse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my cum is like Dawn dish soap. Oh, that's good. Oh, you they use it to like. Is it to clean wildlife? <laughs> yeah. After oil spills? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're nut around like a little duck. <laughs> yeah. And everyone's like, oh, he's so cute. Oh, man. That's we care. A, we yeah. care. Sleepover cares. I too. feel like maybe like my elbow, or like my arm, I wouldn't yeah. mind you too much. You mean your weenus? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, right there. I wouldn't mind too much, just as long as it's not like, I guess. What about your back? Oh, back feels uncomfortable. That's yeah. fucking the worst. That's literally the worst place, you would know. bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I hate it when I get nutted yeah, on my back. back. Vince, can I ask you a personal question? Oh, wait, what is it? When is the last time that you played nervous? I played nervous? Yeah, with a girl. I really... Oh, well, I would have told you if it was a guy, I would have no, told you like know. sooner, but... Um, I don't know. I've never really played that game. Really? You know? Yeah. How are you rising what up? What about the game Fire Truck? Fire Truck? I can't drive, so... What, which game was that? You know Fire Truck. Like, uh... So I put my... I'm going to put my hand on your leg... And you tell me uh, red light when you want me to stop, okay? No, okay. It's red light. <laughs> Fire trucks don't stop for red lights. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you got your first sexual assault charge. Me? <laughs> they're like, well, they're the other, like Yana. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing red light. We were playing red light. And, and these are the rules. These are the rules, and that is the law. They do not stop at red lights. <laughs> you, you have me there. <laughs> gap, gap. <laughs> <laughs> order, order in the court. court. Order. <laughs> yeah. Every every fucking lawyer has to be a southern lawyer. Has to be Matthew Carpenter. What's, what's the word? Uh, he can't. Right, we have a, a southern zombie. Friend. He can't say zom- zombie. He can't say zombie. Zombie. Wow. That'd be crazy. Do you think zombie. we have California accents? Apparently. Well, actually, I was told that I have a California accent when I was in Texas. Oh. Yeah. How yeah. do they How do they distinguish it? Um. Who just told the, you? Just the way uh, it was someone from Texas the, that. Um, what visits. gender were they? There's a woman. They're like, why don't you say the N-word yeah. just as much as you should? <laughs> that's, how you, that's how they can tell that we're not from Texas. They're like, oh, you're I not don't saying say the N-word. <laughs> you, think, honestly, you think I'm fucking around, but they... I, Dude, they, tell them the Ralph story over the barber. Well, Vince was fucking there. So uh, we're, we're, Ralph wanted to uh, shoot a sketch that you wrote, right? Yeah. Remember? And his barber was going to be a part of the sketch, but he was acting so stiff. And he could not like be completely realistic because every time he would try to say a word, he kept cutting himself off because he was about to say the N-word. He's like, you know, come on, n- bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> I mean, me and my n- bros. Were just <laughs> and I'm like, bro, just say dude. That's funny. Like to, to be like you, you physically can't not say it. Yeah. It's so crazy. That's how they fucking are in Texas. I swear That's to God, they drop that shit. Like they make they make L.A. look like small potatoes, dude. Yeah, that shit is like in there. It's it's in their their reading. Yeah, I don't I don't say it um, out loud. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For them, when they're reading a Huckleberry Finn, it's all n words, and then like they they like censor out the. <laughs> well, it's it's interesting because their their version of Huckleberry Finn is actually short, and it's like four pages because they just keep that word in there. Yeah, they they struggle with every other word that isn't the n word. Yeah, they're like they're like the word is today. Today. Yeah, that's it's the heat, folks. It's the heat. Look, and that word is uh, it's definitely terrible. I'm wearing an MLK shirt. Oh, really? What? Is, oh, I thought that was Meek Mill. You thought it was Meek? <laughs> I yeah, love those. You know what I race. think is interesting though, in, in Texas, um, I was there, and I, I'll say I, I wanted to like visit a certain website to you know. I woke up early. Mm-hmm. And it's I blocked, like, right? It's blocked. Certain pornography sites are blocked. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, I think all porn sites are blocked. You have to enter. Yeah, in especially your the ones you fucking go yeah. on, you fucking weirdo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> LouisLemus.com. Um, <laughs> and I, like, dot, dot org. Dot org. Dot gov. Uh-huh. Um, so in order to like access these websites, you have to like submit your ID. Crazy. Whoa. Which is crazy. But also like I think Did it's a good it? idea. I think it's a good idea <laughs> to like to get someone to not jack off. Oh yeah. Because yeah. you you have to pull out your your ID and look at your own face. And look at your date of birth, and you're like, I'm literally looking at myself. I am a 28 year old man. It is five in the morning. I'm gonna put this away. This is a good wake up yeah, call. Yeah, pulling for out me. your wallet and like getting a card is very sobering. Yeah, you're like is this worth it? This yeah. brown eyed fucking man wants to check off right now <laughs> to the homepage of whatever he sees. Yeah, I'm not gonna Imagine do this. Imagine the porn website fat shames you. They're like, you're not, you're not 195 right now, bro. Yeah, it's like, please re-enter your your weight. It's like ugly singles want to fuck in your neighborhood and they just talk about you. That's funny. 
<laughs> you pull um, up a webcam and it's just you looking right back. <laughs> those ugly motherfuckers. Wait, so you need didn't love. input your? No, I just I was just like, all right. Um, you start jacking off to your own photo. I, I was like, all right, we're here. X N X X. No, I just have to look at images instead because oh. those aren't blocked. Mm. What about Reddit? Um, I didn't try that actually. Mm. Sometimes you got to go imagination route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I drew a picture, you know? It wasn't a good picture. A sleepover party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a good picture, but yeah, it was, it was, on, a, it was on a napkin, which is good because I'm going to need that anyways. Mm-hmm. You, th- you draw yeah. a three, and then you just add the little dots. So little it looks dots, like some yeah. Titties. I, I drew the biggest three I've ever drawn in my life. <laughs> it looks like the chance the rapper has. Yeah, the like, number three, and then uh, the letter V, mm-hmm. and we're good. We're cooking. Oh, you're a dirty dog, dude. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with some more Sleepover Pod. <laughs> We are back with some more sleepover pod. Uh, Dude, we had a fat ass night the other night. We did have a fat night. Uh, was this the wedding night? No, 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 we had another fat night. It was Tuesday night. We just had a whole box of two pizzas, dude, for the boys. Yeah. So, com- what, what were the pizza places again? Prime Pizza in Burbank and Prince Street Pizza in Pasadena. Full on square pizzas. We're talking about like the thick crust ones, Vince. Yeah. Those are nice. They're very thick. We have some more in the fridge if you guys want some. Um, Hell no, that's might, two day old some. pizza. Yeah, I'll, I'll eat that. Yeah. Prince, Prince Street Pizza is good, but apparently they're. Very I brought donut holes too. Oh yeah, where was that? You're right I took now, them back home. You, I, what okay. the fuck, bro? Who get, who comes to a potluck <laughs> and takes the food back? I literally this motherfucker, said, bro. I said, do you guys want this? And you said, me and me and Jack pay for both. Both fucking pizzas and wings. <laughs> and Lewis is like, shows up almost empty handed. And I'm like, just go get some snacks. And he brings some fucking donut holes, bro. You bring like, you might as well bring things that people aren't going to eat. Like you might carrots. as well just bring fucking paper plates <laughs> and I saw forks. You fucking bro. eat it, motherfucker. And then you, you lie, show up. Bitch. That's how Lewis is. And then you bro. take the shit back, bro. Yeah. You take pizza to go and the food. You're, you're not a, you're, not, you're a fucking colonizer. Fuck you. <laughs> you're. <laughs> You're straight up despicable. <laughs> you fucking colonize the house, bro. You just come over here and you take our shit like Pocahontas style. Yeah, you ate pizza the next morning, huh? Dude, I did. I fucking it was. Dist- that was so much pizza, Vince. It was yeah, a lot of pizza. Like a pizza, uh, pizza party. Sometimes you got to eat a bunch of food so you don't crave the food anymore. You yeah. Know? What's what's something that you're like done with right now? Pizza. Pizza. I'll I play. might have pizza again this week. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm fine. I can eat pizza a lot. I might eat pizza across from Chatterbox actually yeah. tonight. Are you going to Chatterbox? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go pick up Jaime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. After this, to... I'm going to go pick him up. Right now? Well, at, like at 5, 5.45. What time are you going to drive out to Chatterbox? Well, we should plan this after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we can still. They need to know like, they the process. Know, of yeah, it. in case we ever can get shot. Can I drive over to your place and catch a ride? Yeah, well, I mean, you're not far from me, so. Mm. I mean, either way. I can just, just pick you let up. Let me know. All right, we're back. We're back, guys. We're back with sleepover. So now you know that I'm going to go take Luis with me. Uh huh. So we had a crazy, fat-filled day. And uh, it did. That was pretty sick. I like the bonding though. It did feel like some like life shit. We're like just the boys hanging out with the boys. Just like know? the movie we watched. Yeah, we were watching a movie with Glenn Powell. Shout out to him, but the movie was not it. Was it everybody. the and Sheeran one? Hmm? Oh, no. wait, I'm thinking about someone. Well, it was uh, this movie called Everybody Wants Some. We were all very yeah. excited to watch it. Richard Linklater. Just a, a movie like Days and Confused. Yeah, did you ever watch Days and Confused, Vince? Uh, is that the one that has Sean Penn in it, or is that no. a different one? It's like you you remind me of it's... Matthew McConaughey from that movie. You guys have like, because you, you guys have like this cool, he, he like, did something chill. bad in the movie. No, no, huh? he just has like this really cool, chill energy. Like, and I feel like uh, you his have His most that. famous line is like, you know what I love about high school girls? Uh, I figured out that, <laughs> yeah. I figured that's the thing that he says. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love about girls at the comedy store? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I get older and they stay the same age. Let My name b- is Vince Caldera. Let the boy watch. Let the boy watch. <laughs> we're, dude, we're is this still the same movie? No, no. We're, we're watching okay. the East Bound. Yeah, that movie was really hyped up, like 87% on Rotten Tomatoes and... There was literally zero conflict at all. Yeah. 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 Actually, you guys you guys remind me of those two guys from Deliverance where they're like, uh, they're chasing after you, this one guy. They make you scream yeah, like they're, a pig. Oh. They're chasing after this one guy in his underwear. You yeah. guys remind me of that guy. I keep seeing this scene from the movie Long Legs where it's like, I guess, what's his name? Nick Nicholas Nicholas Cage. Cage. And he's driving and he's like, something, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> what, is he, what is he yelling? I don't remember. He's I haven't just, seen the movie. Daddy. He's just yelling, "Daddy!" Is it? Is that the scary part of the movie? No, this, the scary, the scariest part is probably like the beginning of the movie. But then it kind of like, what does he do? He's just, just his presence. He's I think he's scary. Has long legs. Nicholas Cage. Oh, what was that movie he did? I think tall people can be scary. I feel like there's something like scary about. Did you them. watch Alien Romulus? I have. Yo, that movie is the definition of tall people being scary. Did you see what I sent you on Instagram? Yeah, that was a real fucking person. They have like a new alien that shows up at the end. It's a human hybrid, and yeah. it's literally like a seven foot tall European basketball player that they got to. I think play I him. saw that. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. so fucking creepy. It's so ugly, dude. And he's chasing my girlfriend in that movie. 
How many girlfriends do I have in Alien Romulus? Like two. <laughs> two of I them. I got a white girl and I got a uh, Latina. I thought they were both Latina. I guess one of them's white. No, the one, the, the other one is for sure white. The girl. And then you got like two boyfriends in that movie too. You're crazy. That's cool. I do want to pretend I'm an alien and just start wearing like bandanas and just being like Waylon Utani. Pretend that you are in I'm the movie. Alien. Yeah, that universe is so cool. I thought you meant you were a xenomorph. Yeah, I, was like, this I is thought a that, I heard that too. Yeah. Would you go down on a xenomorph? Um, if they're bad, sure. You know but put, I mean, I don't think I'm tall enough to go down on them. That pussy burns your lips. That's crazy. <laughs> That's Vince is crazy. I, this is actually kind of fucked up, but I have. Sure. I have an alien queen figure from the movie Aliens, mm-hmm. and there's a they make the creatures look very phallic and very like they have like vaginal like mm-hmm. you know yeah that's intentional though and very intentional yeah. and then I, one time I was looking at my alien queen figure because I was literally dusting it off <laughs> and it has like we're in between the legs there's like a vagina model in there mm-hmm. I'm like I'm Whoa. throwing this fucking toy away did you throw it away no it's in a box oh, I'm just like I'm never just playing this shit again no, this show it off dude. I'll buy it show it off I have a power loader too with Ripley oh that's really? cool yeah dude she's cool. I'm, I, I would. I think I'd be able to take on an alien for sure. You think so? Easy. What would your strategy be? Fucking just kill that motherfucker. Would you have a what kind of weapon? My fist, dude. Because <laughs> everybody shoots the alien. I, I'm he's not, never caught a fade. He's That's never. True. He's never. Look, everybody tries to shoot the alien. His blood is literally fucking acid, bro. He's gonna burn. Me, I'm one on one and just spade up. Bop. Floyd Mayweather defensive with that shit. Mm. Bop, 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 so bop, speaking of catching phase, I think I sent this to Vince, but it's like imagine you catch you catch your girl cheating, mm-hmm. and then the dude she's cheating on. <laughs> my biggest fear is like that the dude she's cheating on you with like ends up kicking your ass. <laughs> that would suck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you sent us that video yesterday of that guy. Oh, you sent us that. <laughs> what? <Getting laughs> fucked up. Internet comedian dude. There's just like, yeah, oh. wild and out dude who got like really like ripped to shreds on the street because he like slept with another guy's uh, girlfriend. <laughs> and, and then we all check his Instagram and in his bio it says, I might steal your girl. <laughs> oh, no, he's like, I might smash your girl. It's and he crazy. Did, might, he did, dude. He did. With the devil face emoji. Yeah. I, I've, I've seen That's this. That's nasty work, bro. I posted this meme yesterday and it said, imagine hiring a gay guy. I cry at your op's funeral <laughs> and this concept is just so fucking funny to me dude. how much do you charge for that <laughs> <laughs> bro imagine Vince, can, can we tell the story that you told us in a voice memo earlier this week uh, oh yeah. we won't say who it is just a person yeah, alright so just tell it in, tell it in the way of like um, someone you, that you know yeah we heard about this person that we know not a friend mm-hmm. Um, not a friend, <laughs> but apparently this person had uh, gone to the hospital. Or was it earlier in the week or when was last it? Just week. Last, last week. They'd yeah. gone to the hospital last week. They're fine. But when they were in the, in the hospital room, there was like a man next to them. Uh, and the nurse was like telling the guy what they were going to do. They're like, oh yeah, we're going to give you this medication. You're going to fall asleep for three hours. Guy falls asleep for three hours. This person saw that this guy had a bunch of jewelry, a bunch of rings, a bunch of bracelets, necklaces. Stole it from him, took it off his body, and then complained that the guy had been coughing earlier and was like, hey, get me the fuck out of this hospital. And then went to, a, left the hospital and went to, a, what was it, a thrift shop? To pawn it. To pawn it. That's crazy because, like, or I think about this. Like, That's uh, nasty work right you're, there. You're, you're laying down, right? And then someone, <laughs> they have the time to just go. Damn. And then get out of there. That is crazy, and he That's never kn- he, he never noticed. The fact it? that the nurses didn't notice. Bro, the yeah. nurses are probably in on that shit too, man. I don't trust any nurses, especially the ones in LA. I've done, <laughs> I've seen the one, the Filipino nurses out here. Those good. There was what? there was a Filipino night at Dodger Stadium, and all the comments were like, "Damn, the hospitals must be empty right now." That's, that's really funny. <laughs> they fucking they're not empty. No one's just checking on the patients, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the patients <laughs> notice no difference. The little buzzers are going off right now. Survival rate went up. <laughs> 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 Bro, Filipino, they 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 just be giving everybody nice at Dodger Stadium now. Huh? What they saw Salvadorian <laughs> there, night? when there was a Salvadorian night, I was like, nah, we gotta stop nah, this. They they got Jewish night, I think. And I was like, that's that, cool. I'm like, yeah, we need more Jewish things. Uh, we need we, we. Sandy Kopak, bro. Yeah, oh yeah, he's Jewish. Mm-hmm. When, when are they gonna give the ones to? Wait, wait, Vince. So this person who did oh, yeah. all this with the jewelry was the same person who got arrested for stealing from a church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Same it? person apparently got caught because. They had been going to a church and using a fish hook with gum or something. An adhesive at the end of it. An adhesive to (laughs) go into the donation box and take it on out. 
That's some. This is some crazy. Looney Tunes ass shit right here. It's pretty funny, honestly. Like, but you also have to think how how great he is creatively to be this devious, dude. Which is crazy. I could not have come up with that in my wildest imagination. It's like good time, you know. Yeah. This was like fucking Robert Pattinson He's doing a, the most demonic shit he can. This guy's in a Safdie brother movie. I feel like your life is like that sometimes, Vince. I, unfortunately, Do I feel you like cried during Good Time because of that, right? Like, all right, it's so like during Good Time. There was a lot of relatability where I was like, I get these characters, and then also um, Uncut Gems because Adam Sandler's character reminds me a lot of different uncles that I've had mm-hmm. that are trying to like just get Pond, rich fast. Yeah, yeah. damn that flip. And like, it's just like it's it's very um, self sabotage type stuff. Would your uncle ever sell his high school ring to me? Maybe Damn, it's a w- it's a Franklin High School ring though. Yeah, right? Franklin, so like yeah. it makes like it more a, valuable. So I could burn that shit like a like, <laughs> like Drake with Pharrell stuff. Like Drake with Pharrell stuff. I give a fuck about that heritage. <laughs> shit. Throw up the ER. The ER. That's crazy. Now you, your your life a, is a, you know an Eagle Rock High School championship ring. That's super rare. Those things don't barely exist. Yeah, they don't, I don't have think any of those out there. Yeah, they they won like ba- they won like two <laughs> they, twice after they, we graduated. They, they, they I was so sad. <laughs> like dust it off. Like crazy. They only made the mold. They never actually made a ring. I would, dude. I was so close, bro. I'm watching that movie. Everybody wants them. Maybe want to play baseball again. Yeah, yeah, they're all baseball players in the movie, and they play baseball once, and it was the best scene. It was the best scene. They bear- there's, they have so many cringy date scenes. Yeah, it was. It could have been, the movie could have been much better. I wanted to see a baseball movie of just talking shit, which is why Bad News Bears is so good. I rewatched Fever Pitch a few weeks ago, and I'm like, this movie's cute as fuck. Kevin Costner. No, Fever Pitch oh, is no, no, Jimmy no. Fallon, Drew Barrymore. Yeah, that's around. like his best movie. Yeah. He's, now ta- yeah, Taxi's I, what is, crazy, bro. I haven't seen Taxi. Taxi's, that's when this dude was trying to act. And he's that the like, one with Queen uh, Latifah? Yeah. Yeah. And that baddie. Who? Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. Oh, she was bad in that movie? She's Queen Latifah was bad, always bad, bro. dude. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, Whole career. You wouldn't lay it? I don't know. Really? I don't know. You wouldn't throw that thing down? For Queen Latifah? Yeah. What's her real name? Latifah. LaFonda. Yeah. You wouldn't throw that thing I down. I keep seeing Latifah. videos of uh, people walking up to studs and being like, "What's your stud name and what's your real name?" <laughs> and then one chick was like, "My name is Fire Kells," and they're like, "What's your real name, Kelly?" Fuck, That's funny. dude. Studs are hilarious. Studs are unironically yeah. like it's just yeah. they're just cool ass people. They are, dude. Uh, stud walked up to me after an Alfred show and they're like, "You that funny little racist motherfucker, huh?" And I was like, "Yeah." They're like, "All right, I see you." And I was like, "Okay, uh, <laughs> thank, thank you." Man. People who don't know, studs are just very. Very uh, m- masculine, masculine lesbians. looking, like lesbians, presenting, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They always got like a fucking like piercing over here. Yeah, the studs look. I, my my uh my. They always wear strap ons. Yeah, then. and I'm like, we just get a dick at this point, bro. <laughs> like, what are we doing? <laughs> just get, just get. <laughs> baby. Let me introduce you to the real thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just try the real thing once, and you'll be like, ah, maybe I'll go back to the vegan food. <laughs> uh, maybe you might enjoy it. You know what I mean? Vince is trying not to laugh, dude. Uh, yeah, I'm trying really hard. Vince is having a good time. You have any riffs, Vince? I'm thinking right Just now. Tell me about your life, bro. My what? life? Yeah. Right? I, honestly, I, it's hot. What's I'm, the Vandals again? It's a punk band. Oh, okay. Yeah. They have they actually have a, a song. Um, I think it's called Girlfriend or something like that, where like uh, the whole song is like someone asking about this guy's girlfriend, like what happened to her, and he's like he doesn't want to tell him that they broke up, so he's oh. like she died. Been there, dude. Yeah. yeah, that's all. I was like, I think that's a good thing to say. Like, uh, if you have a relationship you're not proud of, it's like she fucking died, dude. Yeah, yeah. I think that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was well, what did they see her? I'm like, what do you mean? You break down crying. Like, you're like, no, no. Don't do this to me. <laughs> don't fucking do this to me. <laughs> not again. She had a twin, something like that. Damn, dude. I would date a. Would you date? Would would you date an ugly twin? An the ugly, ugly one? Yeah. Or just an ugly Let's set say of twins? you have, because there's usually a cute twin, and there's a twin that's, like, not, like, she's not it. She doesn't have that star power. I would date someone ugly. Really? Yeah. Don't say that, bro. Why not? Because then the, the people you date are going to be like, was I the one? Was I the, was I the one in that? <laughs> Joanna's told me that. Too. You got to stop. I, I've said that to her. I was like, I would date someone that's ugly. <laughs> you, no, you don't say I would date. You like, I'm into, <laughs> you, you say I'm into. And, and Vin, she said exactly what you Vin said. says I'm She's into like, ugly. He says I'm into <laughs> ugly girls. And I'm just like, don't ever fucking repeat that shit. That's funny. <laughs> Which is crazy, bro. Like, you should be like, I'm only into the baddest, beautiful women <laughs> with the most bold personalities. <laughs> and that are compassionate <laughs> and so smart. And yeah. So I mean, I think, I think I like. The whole entire like spectrum of people, not like in a way that's like you know. Like, like, I'll, I'll take cringy. anything. Yeah, the you cops know? are literally coming to arrest you. Right but but more show. like like I feel like I can find something that's good about each person. Really, that's like attractive, like yeah. an attractive trait that's about hot. them. Would you date a radical Republican? Um, I think some might be hot. Yeah. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. Would sure. You, would you try to turn them out? 
turn them out, like like change them. Yeah, I feel like those kind of people you can't change. Really? Yeah, yeah I feel kinda, like they're too far gone. No, I think you can change anybody, dude. If they're hot enough. In my mind, uh I would change an ugly girl. I mean, a pretty girl. But I wouldn't. Go you would down change there. a pretty girl. Why? Well, if a pretty girl, if, well, because I don't want. I'm gonna invest the energy. If she's not, if she ain't a baddie, then why am I over here? You know what I mean? If like a, if a girl is just like an ugly ass Republican, I'm like, I'm not gonna invest the energy. <laughs> oh, You're like, okay. I just like the politics, but everything else, <laughs> yeah. like, I don't know. Really <laughs> gotta go, baby. <laughs> it's gotta go. Keep the flags up on the house. That's cool. But you gotta, yeah. <laughs> Those Trump flags across the street are waving mighty bright today, dude. It's funny. Uh, I t- I want to post this funny ass thing on my story, but I feel like people will get mad. But what like, is it? Uh, about two weeks ago, um, I saw something on Instagram. Sure. And I said, I texted Lewis, and I said, I feel like I've become a lot more liberal this year. Oh, you mentioned that in the last episode. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, and then I, but I see shit like this, and I'm like, give me that red hat. And then I just want to block what it was so people don't get mad. But I just think that idea is so funny. What do you think is the most liberal thing about you? Me? Yeah. My politics. Such <laughs> as? Dude, my, me? My most liberal thing? Yeah. About me? What do, what do you think has, has become, like, one of the biggest, like, strides of growth in, in that? I think I don't fucking, like, I don't, I'm not bothered by the gays. And I feel like a lot yeah. of people are easily bothered. I'm like, bro, they're just fucking out here sucking dick. They're yeah. Just doing their Let thing. them do what they want to do. It is crazy to me when people are like... That's their stance, you know, that mm-hmm. they're like, oh, you know, they're anti-gay. And it's like, that's crazy that you're even worried about what someone else is like, finds attractive. Yeah. I think it's more like if, if it's some, like, at least for me, um, if you worry about someone else's lifestyle, mm-hmm. you're like, that's wrong. It's like, that's none of your business because it doesn't affect you. Yeah. I'm like, does it aff- does something affect me at all? And if it doesn't, then I'm like, I know. You know, until yeah. something starts affecting me, then I'm just like... All right, let's let's talk about it. But I'm not gonna. What if Jack became gay and you just started hearing like a lot of gay sex like from the room over? Well, then it's oh, and he's like, but he's in his underwear all the time yeah. too in the house. Then we're gonna have have a talk, bro. Wait, <laughs> like, Vince, I did I did something kind of <laughs> funny on Tuesday night that I forgot I did. Kind of funny. <laughs> so we're eating because Daniel just moved into Jack's place, and yeah. then they share a bathroom. So there's a bathroom in between both their doors. And uh, <laughs> they can lock both of them. Did you and lock both doors? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. So when we're eating, Jack at one point yells from his room. And he goes, hey, Daniel, you, you left the door locked again. And Daniel's like, oh, my oh my God. I, I don't know how I did that. Like, I didn't even realize I did that. And Jack's like, no, don't worry. You know, just a heads up. You, you lock the door. Don't do it. And then Daniel's like, okay, I'm going to be very mindful about it. Later on, we're watching the movie. I go use the restroom. <laughs> I lock the door. <laughs> I walk out from Daniel's room and <laughs> I leave Jack's door locked. <laughs> I forget about it. We finish the movie. I go home and Daniel, I mean, Jack texts us being like, Daniel, you did it again. And I did. <laughs> what happened from your perspective? What? I was like fucking freaking out. I was like, no, this can't be. I, like, I literally did the thing where I opened both doors to make sure it was unlocked and for it to be locked again i was like no something has to be going on <laughs> there has to be some fucking spirit or entity in this room that I'm you getting, brought yeah i'm getting haunted by fucking beetlejuice over here and i was so fucking mad and then when i was re- revealed that it was lewis it was like a huge sigh of relief <laughs> everyone's <laughs> so, like oh it's this guy yeah it's just lewis being fucking uh, retarded again <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I was so happy that it was you because I was like, "What the fuck is going on in my head?" I literally was losing my mind. I like was gaslighting myself. I was like, "No, no, no! This can't be. This can't. This can't be. Not again." You like you like pranks. I, I, yeah. I can't. I can't fucking believe that. Sometimes you like doing little shit that uh-huh. like pisses people it's off. It's always little stuff too. It's little it's, shit too. I would never do a huge elaborate prank. No, nah, but yeah. you but you know like it fucks with people. Like you know like it's little, but it's big enough to be bothersome. Lewis is a fucking bully, bro. <laughs> You do one you'd, be the, <laughs> you'd be the kind of person to like leave like a like a fucking fake lottery ticket. Or yeah, something. that is some shit. You look, bam, you're. Wait, didn't you guys do it to your dad? I think we did that to somebody, but they. I don't think I, maybe they did fall for it. A but fake yeah. lottery ticket? Yeah, they they play with too many lottery tickets. That's like, I know a fake. They yeah. have an addiction. Yeah. I was at a Seven Eleven and I was behind this lady and she just bought a hundred dollars worth of lottery tickets, and I was like, God damn, dude, let me get one. Let me get one. Well, that's what we're gonna do with the Patreon money, right? Is yeah. Just invest in lottery tickets. Mm-hmm. For parlays, parlays, parlay, yeah. parlay, like fucking Captain Captain Barbosa. Yeah, parlay, parlay. I want to become a pirate. I think. What if we gave up stand up and we just came pirates? The well, seas. you love dressing like one, so I think we're not like far. Yeah. Do you yeah. Dr- do we dress like pirates? Yeah, all the time. Really? Damn, we become we, we become pirates and I lose my leg in the first week. <laughs> that sounds you like get scurvy. I, get a, I, get a, I, get <laughs> I think you, you would be good with a peg leg. I could see you uh, with yeah? Him. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Your thing would be like a gun too. Yeah. Be like a wood, oh, like a pe- that's yeah. pretty sick. Like yeah. that movie Death Proof. The yeah. Quentin Tarantino movie. That girl is a pretty girl. I'd even date her with a gun leg. 
Ooh. Yeah. And your girls, dude, no one would ever fuck with you and your girl if she had a fucking gun leg. Yeah. yeah. Like, but you better watch out, dude. Don't even try to grab her waist because she'll fucking blow up this fucking bar. Vince. Yeah. Yeah, Vince. Yeah, you got to stop doing that, Vince. I'll, all right. Oh, I'm, this I'm working was, on this it. was something I was how I want when I was asking about the nervous thing because I, I watched the movie about like all um, I watched that Didi movie. I was talking to Lewis about the Didi it. movie. Yeah, it was what like it's like it's, it's a new a, coming of age movie. It's like takes place in like two thousand came out this year. Yeah, two thousand eight, yeah. and then seeing like a person in like eighth grade, ninth grade trying to riz up a girl, mm. and I'm just trying to remember like what was the move because I would go on Facebook and I would look up a girl's interests and then I would be like I also like the exact same thing as you. Oh, would you DM them? Hmm? You'd message girls. Will you poke? You would poke, yeah. I figured I'm poking. I'll be poking, bitches. <laughs> poking, bitches. I'll be poking. That motherfucker stays poking. <laughs> I'll get poked. It's a, it was a poker. It was a poke. <laughs> <laughs> poke. <laughs> the whole world's getting poked. I mean, I think, I think, like, the thing that was helpful is just, like, other people kind of telling you, like, hey, this person, or dropping hints. Yeah. So t- tangential Damn, to when that. your crush dropped that she's in a relationship. Oh. oh you'd be like, fuck this guy. <laughs> Oh my God, man. So you, uh, other girls would be like, "Oh, this girl thinks you're cute, Vince." So they'd, they'd, lay, the, like that, they'd yeah. lay the groundwork. Yeah. And then you, how how would you swoop in? Well, then, like, I think in that moment, though, like, you kind of like decide whether or not you're even interested in the first place. And what would Vince you, once what broke would up with a girl because he wanted to play football? Whoa, really? It's crazy. Damn, That's you, not you're true. Like, <laughs> I thought there was a girl that that is that sounds you were like dating her. Uh-huh. And then we were playing football during lunch, and they're like, "She wants to talk to you," and you're like, "I'm playing." And then they're like, "She wants to break up with you." Oh, uh, you know what? I think I, I think I know who, exactly who it is. Man. I won't say it on here. Was that was it, Melody? Yeah. Oh, sure. Right. Oh, oh, you said it. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 But she's not going to find out, even if she does. Well, like, what if she does? She's going to be like, "Hey 15, there, what's up?" Yeah, 15 years ago. Yeah. And shit. You never uh, know. Some people are, are crazy. Yeah, that'd be funny. Oh, that's what she said. Hey, Vince, opposites don't attract. And oh I, yeah, someone told me that in seventh grade. That's I so laughed funny. So like you were like we're like. I think I told you, dude. That's what I, that was the word of the shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, she said opposites don't attract because, like, I like John Stewart. She likes Stephen Colbert. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm like that's just a character that he does. That's crazy. Wait, so, you, what was your riz though? What would you do? You'd go up to them. How would you secure the bag? Because I had no riz in middle school. I started I, having riz later in life. But you always, you were the. I don't even think I had anything that was like a like a move or anything. But I you, you had like, like girlfriends the whole time. Yeah, throughout me, like middle school, yeah, entire time throughout school. the entire, throughout everything, you had girlfriends. Throughout everything, you were you, swinging from one girl time. to another. Throughout time, you always had. I, for lack of a better word, you pulled up with the bitches. Yeah, well, yeah. that's a few words. Yeah. <laughs> that's a few words. For Just, lack of better words, I'm gonna choose all the words that I like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pull up with the bitches. You pulled up with the bitches. Me and Lewis were scaring the hoes. That's why. Can you just <laughs> tell us how you did it? I don't. I don't know. I think. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna. Just be yourself. Dude. No, 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 Shut no, no. The fuck Shut the up. fuck up. This is Vince yourself, telling us that he took the bus the other day yeah. and we're both like, man, that shit I, got dude, me. I took the bus the other day. It was so chill. It was on Labor Day. Nobody was on the bus. Bro. It was I like <laughs> two bucks. I'm not gonna spend twenty bucks on a lift. Picture somebody from Highland Park that just moved to LA saying that shit, like when they have money or something, they're like I have a car. They're like, I just took the bus for the first time. And honestly, it's not that bad. It's so I had terrible. such a good time just exploring the city. I'll just be like I also, I mean, I also have like male privilege. Like the bus is easier for for us yeah. being mm-hmm. a guy because mm-hmm. you could just take over that shit with your dick. <laughs> yeah, you have a weapon on the bus no matter what. The bus is scary. Yeah, the bus is like, uh, it's like imagine every bus stop. It's like that moment in Super Smash Bros. where it's like a new foe has appeared. <laughs> They're stepping <laughs> in through the bus. You're like, oh no, am I gonna be able to take this guy on? <laughs> I only have one shot. Dude. Hope he doesn't sit next to me. I haven't ridden the bus in fucking so long, dude. It's um. I'm like SpongeBob with the bus. Like mm-hmm. every fucking time, like I turn around and that shit passes right by. Really? <laughs> you miss it? I miss it every. It's either too early or it's so goddamn late. Damn. Isn't dude. that place called Rock Bottom? Yeah. 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 Why not Rock Bottom? Why do you take the what if instead of taking the bus? What if you just turn Terminator Two run to wherever you need to be? <laughs> you know what I'm talking. About? Why do people just, just do face. that? Just, just straight face, no face. Just there's, <laughs> there's like another version. I can of also the bus. never ride a bird scooter. Uh, oh, never I'm one. gonna fall. Those you fall, dude. They they go so fucking fast. Have you fallen? Yeah. <laughs> you had what? Well, because was the floor okay? Bro, well, legally you you have to be drunk to to drive that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way. You have to you actually have to blow into a breathalyzer. Yeah. And if you're not drunk, it's not gonna let you on. Yeah, and it's like you're not fucked up enough to like take a shot. And I was oh. like, bro, geez, okay. I one of the holiday parties that we had for uh, for Jack actually when we were in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. There was a couple. One of them I was drunk. That. And the other one was like a little tipsy, uh-huh. and they were like arguing already. Bad start. New Year's Eve, you know. Arguing in the new year. Arguing yeah. in the new year. Bad it's a rainy night, too. Raining. So many layers, so much depth. And they both somehow agree in their drunk state to ride a lime bike or, or a bird scooter 
they take off and then they both crash and tumble into the street. I was Dude, driving the whole time. The was perspective was so fucking funny because we saw like them in stages. We we're like, oh, okay. We're seeing them argue right here. Oh, we saw them on the bike, and then we keep, we go a few more blocks up, and then they're just both on the ground. That's love, though, dude. <laughs> That's why I, I like you can argue in a car, but like not on a, a scooter. Yeah, you argued in a car once. I've never argued in a car. Oh, dude, I used to you kick her out, right? You're I'm like, like you get the fuck out. off right now. I remember I was arguing with a back back in the day for with you know who. Yeah, and then uh, I was Voldemort. like, Voldemort. yeah, I was, like, I was like, we can get out of the car then, and then I kicked her out of the car, and then the next day she's like, I can't believe you kicked me out of the car. I was like, bitch, I was in front of your fucking house. That's why. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what the? F- I just told you to go inside and want to deal with your ass, dude. Whenever my parents would get mad at each other and they would argue in the car, you've been in the car when my parents yeah. argue. Mm-hmm. Uh, my dad would do this thing mm-hmm. where if there was an argument in the car, he'd just be like. You know what? I'm gonna take the bus, and it wouldn't matter where we were at. He'd just be like, "I'm gonna take the fucking bus." And there'd be some places where I'm like, "I haven't seen a bus stop in a while," but he would find it. He always get home. He'd get home like at ten o'clock at night from, from taking all the buses. That's, maybe that's him thinking about life and shit. But imagine no being so either. mad, you're yeah. like, "I'm just gonna take public transportation." It, oh my God. That's the only trait of your dad you got. Yeah, he's liking yeah. the bus. What if he's just? That's his most like moment of them. He's listening to like Dire Straits, Walk of Life. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? I'm though? thinking Sultan's <laughs> Swing. Oh, that one song I played in the car on uh, Fourth of July. It was like, oh yeah, that's a good one. And he's just looking out the window, being all happy. That's that'd be cool. But uh, let's take a quick, let's wrap this baby up, and because we might have to do a, a tiny bit for the page. Yeah, and then yeah. We'll bring this baby home. All right, all right. Well, this has been the regular episode of Sleepover. I've been Danny Cabral. I'm Vince Caldera. I'm Luis Lamos. See you guys. We next survived. Time.